Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Resonance Arcade. Uh, we're playing Metal Gear Solid 3. It's our second go round, and as you can see, we've got Lou, Sam, and Steve with us today. Hi! To, to criticise uh, me. Words to and your to, mothers. In it. Sorry. Um, so I think we just got past the Virtuous Mission, which is the first, like, the intro bit um, of the game. And we were... I think we're just about to see the intro, so... You guys need to listen to the lyrics for this particular bit. It's... Oh, you, well, you can't really miss them. Tall order. It's a it's a good piece of music, but it is it's just uber. I'm gonna I'm just gonna just sit back uber. and enjoy this. Oh, there's some up before. Oh, I thought it I thought it came straight in. Is that an SR71 in space? Currently flying over the Arctic Ocean, altitude thirty thousand feet, approaching. Hey, do you know what's bullshit. happened? Did you save it before we stopped the last time? Because I remember the music intro starting and you stopped. He's like, oh, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it saves afterwards then. Sorry. That's no, fine. We can't not have the intro bit. It's what, awesome. What, <laughs> what we could do, if you want, if you want, we could go back to the um, the menu scene, the screen, and play it from there. Can you do that? Yeah. It's on the menu if screen. If you really think that we need to hear this music, then, then by all means go it's right. Just a cool, we'll, it's not only that, but it's an intro sequence that goes with it as well. It's a James Bond-style intro sequence. It's, all right. part of the, it's part of the experience of the game, man. Like, it, I think it's quite important to the whole thing. Okay. I'm pretty sure the SR-71 wasn't around in the 60s. It was <laughs> in Metal Gear. Yeah. It was a secret in the 60s. One of the most advanced ICUs in the world. You do me a favor and tell the suits about visiting hours. I'll never get better with them assaulting me day and night with their questions. Must be part of the top brass's inquiry. More like an interrogation. So what are you doing waiting for this to finish and then you're gonna do the intro? I could just go to the intro now if you want, we could watch this again, but no, let's wait. I'll I'll save it properly. Tell you what, I'll do it at the end. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, that'll work. No. One step ahead of the house. The reason I came to see you today, Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking Jack? about? The situation you just call you Jack? Mm. A so Big Boss's name is Jack. There's not a lot of other names in there. <laughs> Jack and Dave. <laughs> Jack and Dave. It's <laughs> about all you're going to get. Hal, maybe. <laughs> 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 No. <laughs> no. Very matter of fact, Something isn't it? Even when, when we die, and then? Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. <laughs> it's, it's good the stuff we were just listening to. <laughs> good that they showed the White House there, because I wasn't quite sure what they're on about. It was a hotline call. Oh, snakes have gone. White House. <laughs> <laughs> Oval Office. Right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, okay, D seven was destroyed in a nuclear explosion. At about the same time, our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. Does any of this sound familiar to you? So does someone want to recap what's going on here? Because I, I don't think I quite get it. Sounds uh, better at this than I am. Oh god. Uh, yeah, but I'm trying to remember myself. They, so at the end of the uh, when we were playing through the virtuous mission there, you know, the introductory bit, they did say that America is not is there illegally. They, so this Sokolov guy, the, the weird crying guy in the leather jacket, with the monocle, he's a scientist, a Russian scientist who was developing, you know, a, a sort of version of a Metal Gear type thing. He defected to the United States, but then the Russians got all of his family and they said, if you don't come back to us, we kill your family. So he, they sort of kidnapped him and he went back, but now the, the United States is getting him back. It's one of those, like, a tug of war over a scientist between Russia and the United States. So this is just them talking to each other about it, about the end of the... I'm sure you remember the end where a big nuclear bomb went off and the snake yeah. was all messed up and stuff. So yeah, the boss is defected, but they're blaming their attack on her, using her as a scapegoat, even though it was Volgan that actually did it. 
Presumably Big Boss isn't called Big Boss at this point. No. The mother mm. of your special forces. Yeah, that's the one. And she took two miniature nuclear miniature. shells along with her. You Did American bastard. Miniature. Miniature. The Davy Crockett Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. Serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I would like to uh, to get a count of how many um how many Sokolovs there are in games. Because <laughs> I'm sure it is the only Russian name in any game. Isn't yeah. Sokolov in Call of Duty? Call of Duty uh, 4. I don't know, but it's definitely Sokolov in, um, in... Dishonored. Dishonored, yes. Alright. And isn't he, isn't he a, a scientist guy that you have to go and, like, rescue from the bad yeah, guys? Yeah, well, you don't rescue him, you've got to basically <laughs> kidnap, kidnap him. him. Yeah. But he ends up being sort of on your side when he wakes up in there. When you that, put him in a pit with dogs. That could be a nod to Metal Gear, though, couldn't it? Because you do the same kind of thing in this. Yeah, yeah still. Is Sokolov the guy you put in the pit? I thought that was the other bloke. No, it's Sokolov. You, 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 um, you get him out of his house, and then you put him in the pit, and then he, people uh, interrogate him. Okay, fair enough. I love that game. It was a cool game. Very good game. DLC was good as well. They made Blink a lot better in the DLC from what I remember. The, um, the, is that the, uh, the Knife of Dunwall? Yeah. And I would like dearly to believe They should be doing a sequel to that one. Because that's one of those things where they could have, like... The one thing I would want them to improve, just to talk not about Metal Gear, but this bit's a bit boring anyway, so who cares? <laughs> <laughs> is they could have made, like, the, um... The non-lethal route more entertaining because it seemed like loads of the really cool stuff was all lethal. Like there was only one way to take out guards non-lethally, and that was the joking. Whereas to kill them, you could do so many different crazy. Like you could jump on from from above and like knife them in the head and all that like really cool stuff you could do. And it seemed like the game was gearing you towards playing the non-lethal route, but gave you more fun playing the lethal route. So I don't. I like, I, like, I like that, I like that temptation because you, you know, it's it's almost the easy route to take the, the lethal route as well, but it gives you the bad ending. Yeah, I just think you could have made the non-lethal stuff a little bit more exciting. I think because I played through it the second time round as a murdering bastard and found it really, really enjoyable to play that way. It is, it's very satisfying. Just killing everyone with rats and stuff and just murdering everything. Chris uh, showed you that um, that uh, non-lethal. That was the no non trace. Not, the, the no yeah. trace one, yeah. That that is so funny. Do you see that state? Yeah. Yeah, I'd hope that they would possibly do other things in that series like that, but I don't. I don't know if it works with other games other than Dishonored. There's a lot of scope for them to do more with it. Hmm. And it's a really interesting world that they set up as well. So again, they can, they can go wherever they want. They can go, but the way that they set up the history of it, they can easily do a prequel game and make it just as interesting and engaging. To avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. There we go. The actual point of all this. Right. <laughs> oh, we'll get there eventually. So you got to beat. You got to kill the boss. Yep. Hasn't hasn't Snake already demonstrated? Sorry, he's not Snake. Big Boss already demonstrated that he, he, he doesn't. He can't do that. Just call him Snake because they're all calling snake. him Snake. Yeah, okay, he's called sorry. Snake in this game for all intents and purposes. Yeah, he has, but that's so. <laughs> that's just the. Oh. Uh, that's just the incentive to do it is you know. So this is one of those um, first person bits you're on about. So is there a reason for going to first person there? No, it's just a uh, extra that he that, that Kojima put in there for fun. Right? There is one specific <coughs> bit of the game though, and when it happens, I'll tell you about it. Uh, where using the first person mode is actually really, really helpful to you. Uh, it, it, it it gives you a clue that you can't see by watching the normal cutscene for a part of the game later on. It's quite later on in the game though, so we're not going to see it. Yeah. 
Yeah, that whole craft does look way too futuristic for the 60s, but just think of it in a sort of James Bond type way. All the gadgets in the Bond films were ridiculous as well. Well, the thing is, the SR-71 was, a, I'm sure it was a 70s invention, because it was, I think it was top secret in the 70s. Well, but then again, maybe, maybe it was 60s, I don't know. But yeah, it's, maybe you it is a real well, plane, that. Maybe they could just say that it was so top secret that it actually came out in the 60s. Maybe, I suppose that's what they're doing. That's the typical Metal Gear Solid thing to do, isn't it, I guess? Yeah, it was top top secret in the 60s and then downgraded to just top secret in the 70s. It's I love that plane. It's the most, one of the most beautiful objects ever created. So he's going to do a halo jump out of a, like a supersonic spy plane. Yeah. Nah, that only breathing that brat us. <laughs> no, that's just for pussies. Well, he can just bandage his broken only bones pussies anyway, so it'd be right. <laughs> just falls 30,000 feet and eats a fucking ration to fix himself. He eats a paracetamol just so he doesn't hurt himself when he lands. <laughs> <clears throat> what if he gets injured in the jaw and he can't chew? Oh, here we go. Can't really see what's going on. In Russia, food chews you. Are we in Russia? <laughs> Are we in Russia? In I don't this? know, but that accent definitely wasn't Russian. Sorry. Just because we've got quite fucking... Ukrainian, actually. Uh, just swallow it whole. <laughs> I'm half Hungarian, that's my excuse. I'm half black. <clears throat> And don't we know it? That video's gone really shit. Yeah, the quality of the stream's gone like. Uh, no, it hasn't. Stop I know you can't do anything, but. but... It, it looks fine on the video. Watch it. Watch the video again if you care. Yeah. <laughs> Loud and clear. Glad to see you landed safely. I yeah. got blown pretty far off target. Yeah. Snake, let's go over your mission objectives one more time. It's hard to comment on it, I think is the point in it. Find out what's happened to the Shagahod, then destroy it. <laughs> Stop it! Finally, I like that! You're not allowed to laugh at the Shagahod. <laughs> it's called the Shagahod. How old are you? <laughs> 33 <laughs> doesn't matter. 33 and I know better, but who cares? I'm not a hired killer. I know. I'm not a hired killer. You are. I don't even know why I try. What's it to us? You the should do David Hayter's voice. You should be David Hayter. Me? Yeah. yeah. You, should, you, should, you shouldn't do Snake's voice, you should do David Hayter's voice. Doing Snake. He's, he's quite bland sounding, um, David Hayter. Yeah, he just sounds like a normal bloke. He doesn't, yeah. he doesn't talk like Solid no, Snake in his, in his real life. I kind of wish that he did. But Arnie does. Arnie talks like Arnie, doesn't he, you know? And and yeah. Sly talks like Sly, so... Um, John said John who does Duke Nukem sounds like Duke Nukem all the time as well. Yeah. <laughs> really funny. What's that guy? Your videos of Battlefield. What's yeah, he's that great. That guy in uh, Garth Rengi's Dark Place with the voice. Oh, um, oh um, that is it Dan Berry. Is that his name? Someone like that, but he's, uh, does he actually sound Dr. like that? I've only yeah, ever Sanchez. heard him. I've only ever he's heard him talking like that. He, he dubs his. I think he dubs his own voice. To make it look like, yeah. Guy, guys, you're all talking over each other. I can't hear right. anything. I get it. You use the name yeah, it's Matt Berry, and I think he, he dubs himself to make it sound like it's not himself. Yeah, it's really exactly funny. Right. So he dubs himself as well as talks like that. Yeah. Well, but no. In, in Dark Place, he dubbed. He dubs. He dubbed over himself and like put on a really crazy voice. But it's still his voice. But it sounds like it's not. But is it his voice or is? Yeah. He does the Baltic adverts as well. Yeah, and he's in the IT crowd. I mean, he puts that voice on a little bit, but it, it's more or less there. You can see him in interviews when he's just being his normal self, and the voice is still there, but he's not being. It's it's like he's not being theatrical. It's the same way that like Ian McKellen still has the Ian McKellen voice. But when he's in a movie, he's doing it more. Zero. You know what I mean? He's, just, he's being theatrical with it. Have you heard him doing his own, like, Lancashire accents? Oh, he's McKellen. only a bullion. Yeah. I have, I'm sure I've seen him do stuff. He does quite a lot of... He's quite... Again, he's like a pretty funny guy when you see him in interviews and stuff as well. Mm. Especially when him and Patrick Stewart are together. It's just oh, it's yeah. frequency is the same as during the Virtuous Mission. 145.73. What a thrill. Your mission data as well, Sorry. Like the last time. That so that's paramedics doing your mission data. If you want to, every time you catch an animal, you can 
if you've got it in your inventory or something, and then press the code that you can speak to her about every animal in the game. Yeah, and she'll give you quite a lot of detail. And there's some hidden stuff as well, like there is. Re if he's, in certain situations, she'll talk to you about James Bond films and stuff, and um, <laughs> Godzilla and all kinds of weird shit. Mr. Sigint. Oh, is he the, the one who doesn't have a Adam, picture, Sigint? Sigint. No, he's the black guy. The same factory, so is that the si is it the same guy that was Zero or something yes, like that? No, it wasn't. No, um... This guy's Major Zero. I think he's going to call himself Major yeah. Zero very soon. He's, he already has him. You'll know once you reach right. the factory. The whole area I think. Been by the oh, no, it was Major blast. Tom last time, wasn't it? So. Yeah. Ground control to Major is. Tom. Who are the Patriots? And Lali Lulela. Lali Lulela. Lali Lulela. There is a reason behind the Lali Lulu Lu thing. I've got, uh, do you know what? I've got a feeling it's because that it's because it's a Japanese thing, and the whole point of it is it's all sounds that Japanese people can't say. It's like the people that you can't say that you can't say their name. I think that's really? kind of the joke when you translate it into <laughs> English. It just sounds silly. I'm sure there's something to do with that. Like it's a literal translation of the sounds that Japanese people can't make. If you fail this mission, it will mean an all-out new... I can't bloody say it, to be fair. No pressure, Snake. Fact. Yeah, if you fail this mission, it will mean all-out nuclear war. la le lu le la li le la li le lu No, la li lu Oh, my God. la li lu le lo Such a dick. Got it in one! He sits there in his house. That's all he does. He sits there and does impressions of people. Right, where's the nearest cliff? <laughs> Start as you mean to go on. Yeah. So that was what? That was about 20 minutes of intro there. Yeah, and still didn't even get the fucking intro music, which I really wanted to see. <laughs> oh well, bollocks to it. You got frog rations. Oh, hang on. Yeah, man. My controls are inverted again. Odd. Something's gone weird with this save file because it should have picked up. Where it left off, because I'm sure you saved it after that cutscene, and then the, the intro started, so why did it start you after it? That's ah, weird. You've not played it again since, have you? Nope, I haven't turned it on. Oh. Huh. It feels, it feels a bit I... dark as well for me, to be fair, but... Looks fine to us. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously it is... Sounds silly. It is that night this bit as well, whereas the previous bit was at day, in the daytime. That's yeah, probably it's, it's, it. It's theatrical night, though, isn't it? It's, oh, yeah. it's night that's basically just blue. There's a squirrel going up the tree. It's a fly squirrel. I think it'll. That's the slowest uh, squirrel. It'll jump and fly from tree to tree, though. It's pretty cool. I think it was a squirrel. I think he's flying. Oh, you got him. You got a squirrel ration. Poor little squirrel. Just shit everywhere. There's oh. loads of stuff you can catch. Snake. <laughs> there's a lot of wildlife in this game. I'm sure there's more than the, like there was in the, the previous version, if you know what I mean. Nah, there was always a lot. There was oh. always a lot. If you were looking for it, it was loads of it around. Fair enough. Well, you don't really need that much of it, eh, but it's still cool. You, it's, you know what it is? It's good to catch a few animals now, Chris, and let them go off. Because there's a certain boss fight that's quite handy to have gone off food. So those two things you just killed, let them go off. Don't eat yes, them. Is there another fat baddie, is there? That he just eats no, it's not, he's, he's not a fat baddie at all. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it before we get to it, but I'll okay. give you boss I'll give boss tactics as the bosses come up, rather than say exactly how to beat them two hours before we get to them all. Fair enough. But they're all the bosses, they're not all the bosses in this game, but a couple of them have quite cool ways to beat them, quite imaginative and interested in a couple of them can be beaten really quickly if you know the right way to do it. Like the thing with the end that we've already talked about. Mm. Uh, so I believe you're heading basically back to that same place you got Sokolov earlier. You're just coming at it from a different place this time round. Woodland. Are you going to go for... I think you should go UK. Okay. Damn. Stealth be damned. Yeah. <laughs> I think you need to go in like an EDL member. I'm being Flector. sensible. Sorry. Flectorn. Yeah, the whole camo thing, it does affect the stealth, so it's like something you want to keep an eye on. Uh, I think, possibly, 
might be getting his head kicked in by the boss again in a second. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a kinky bitch. I think he likes it. Bit of oh. mess him. Oh, he's going to get bummed by a horse. She's on a horse. I like how he's just landed and he's right next to her, though. Or was she right next to him? Did she know where he ah. was? And just, she rode out on a horse to find him. Or she saw the thing coming down because she's, you know, got that super boss type intuition. Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. What you wearing? Boss. Uh, I watch him call it a. Uh, still hurt. A poncho type thing. Mm. She looks a bit like Daryl Hannah. What are you doing here? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, yeah. That's a little bit, I guess. Fighting time. Oh. Pwned. <laughs> just, just stop, mate. Just stop trying. It, they, they let the ease with which she just keeps decking him is quite ridiculous. She, she just, just broke his gun. Yeah, yeah. she just dismantled his gun. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I like I like this as a female character. It's nice to see one that isn't doesn't have, it, have her tits out all the time. Is yeah, that yeah. shit out of someone? Oh, there's some of that coming. Don't worry about that. I'm sure there is, but, but it's nice... like that. The boss is like that. Yeah, it's nice to see this character actually changing the kind of norm. I quite like the boss as well because a lot of the time when they're trying to make a, a female character be tough, they just make her into a man, basically. Mm. But the boss is still very much a woman, but she's just a fucking hard as nails one. <laughs> Go home. Go back to your boss. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. This isn't a marriage. Although I'm not entirely sure about the voice. Oh, I like you it. You know who does their voice? It's the same woman who does uh, Diane in Family Guy. You know, Tom and Diane, the news yeah. anchors. Oh, I can hear it now. Oh, you said that, yeah. Uh, she's, she's one of those voices. She's called Laurie Allen, and she does like a lot of different voiceovers and bits. Laurie Allen. <laughs> that should stir things up a bit. I need to see a picture now. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know what the Japanese voice actress for this woman was like. Uh, just remember, also, this is all just basically the equivalent of an anime dub. Yeah. <laughs> so, like bits like there, I think if you had looked in the rain, then you would have seen something behind the boss if you used the R1 thingy. I didn't see an R1. Sorry, I was looking over there. Why'd oh, there you go. Defect? Why'd you defect? I didn't. Why'd you do it? I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. <laughs> is she loyal to the end, or she's loyal to the end? She's loyal to. Quote the marks end. the end, not the man yeah. called the end. He's loyal to a goal, not to the end of the boss. <laughs> loyal to the old man in the wheelchair. Yeah, yeah. He's loyal to her, technically, he's part of her unit. She's in charge of the um, the Cobra unit. You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. But you can't defeat me either. You know me too well. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, <laughs> you won't see that long. Yeah. Oh, bitchy. I'm gonna go bit... dress Now this bit. Oh. End of the end of the mission Ow. right there. That's not getting recovered. <laughs> that hand is destroyed. No matter what way you look at it, right? I mean. <laughs> If a horse stamps on your hand like that, it's fucked. <laughs> Unless you got go immediately to like a doctor and get some surgery to put your bones back together. He didn't even scream. That's a thing. Uh, it is pissing down, so the ground's gonna be pretty soft. <laughs> oh well, sorted. No worries. Got, like if it was on a, wearing, he's wearing like if his hand was on an anvil. If it stamps on it, my horse, make it's sure it's raining. It's up in flames. I was gonna say it's Enemy it's not cows, as bad as it could have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. It's a, it's a kick. There's a couple of times in this game when like, Snake takes a bit of a beating that he should not be able to not only survive but function from like afterwards. There are certain things that happen to him, and you're like, dude, you should be dead by now, or at least not be able to move at all. He's super duper Snake Man, though, isn't he? He kind of is, but he's not. He's not like got any special powers or anything. He's just a well-trained soldier bloke. 
In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do oh, it. Oh, she's your enemy and your him. objective. Enemy. We were together for ten years. Why did he, why did he exclaim enemy, enemy then? Enough. But actually ask a question. Where Adam is waiting. Scouts are probably already. He just said enemy. Explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? It should have but, been an exclamation mark and a question mark, shouldn't it? Has it explained the whole history of him and uh, the boss? It it's alluded into... to the fact that he basically worked for her or something, or even had a relationship yeah, with her. It gets explained more later. Right. Perfectly fine to punch yeah. people, by the way, after all that. Yeah. Right. There you go. Onward and upward, with a broken, totally shattered hand. Get into the grass! There's a bloke there! That's basically what you do. As soon as you see a bloke there, go and crawl in the grass. Because that's the best way to hide in this game. Oh, what? What's this? Uh, they're in, you're in caution mode because they found the ship destroyed. It happens regardless of what you oh. do. <laughs> you didn't do anything wrong there. They didn't see you. Yeah, you commenced that alert formation. Yeah. That caution is going to take its time, isn't it? Yeah, obviously, if you take out all the guards in an area, the caution just goes away. So the, the, it gives you an incentive to take the risk of trying to take them out as well, rather than just oh, waiting. Oh. I like that. That's, that's a nice mechanic, actually. Yeah, the caution in this game oh, takes oh. a lot longer, but you're kind of encouraged to try and... She's knocked my gun up. Yeah, you don't have a gun now. You um, could just sneak past these guys, I think. Which way am I going? That way or that way? Oh, the... the Feed's gone pretty poor, so I can't really tell. I think you're going north, if that's helpful to you. Nah, not at all. There's no compass around. You got a, you've got a map in your pause screen, though, haven't you? Yeah. Backpack. That should show you where you are, I think, unless it just shows the general area. Yes. Yeah, so, right, basically, from where I am. Is it right? It's up there, apparently. Well... If it's not, then you'll find out when you get there that it's not the right way. I can't see shit. Yeah, it's gone. There's just a blocky <laughs> mess for me. So if you do something wrong or go the wrong way, I have no idea. I'm literally just sat in grass at the in moment. In the grass. Yeah, yeah. I can sort of see a guard walking past where you are. There is, there is a genre of music which is basically stealth music, isn't there? It's Look, like looking the violin strings. Yeah, it's like there's 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 definitely a genre there because this is reminds me very much of the music from Splinter Cell. Hmm. Or do you think it's a case of maybe it's because there's films like James Bond maybe gave us that template? Um, I don't I don't rec don't remember it from James Bond, but maybe it is. The music of James Bond isn't something that I tend to remember that much apart from the theme. Are you going to stab him up now, are you? <laughs> there goes the no-kill thing. Oh, Shag I already, already did that. Oh, for fudge's sake. Oh, I suppose you did, didn't you? Yeah, Chris, better not share. I swear. Don't look at me like that. Look at however I want to look at you. <laughs> now, there's, there's pretty cool things you can do. Like, if you if you tranquilise... <laughs> uh, a snake. You can throw the. You can throw live snakes at enemies and stuff as well, which is quite cool. <laughs> oh, getting chipped to fuck these guys, aren't they? <laughs> like a human you're now, blender. Hey, you've now basically become like Steven Seagal in Under Siege with a knife. <laughs> and the, the other really fast knife. Work. Steven Seagal is the laziest fighter. Like, he just extends his arm and people fly around his arm and die. Take my pies out of the oven. <laughs> <laughs> do you know in one movie he didn't even, he couldn't even be asked to dub his own voice so he got someone else to do it? He is. Just, just, gonna, ch just gonna change my clothes while I'm hiding from this guy in the grass. So you can go from 85 to 95. He just saw me somehow. Oh, so right where you are, full black camo is best, apparently. I guess because it's night time, you're on the ground. It's not going to get you. Once you go black, you don't go back. 
Oh, you just stabbed him in the knees. <laughs> to death. <laughs> oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, you've, been, you, you've also been bitten by a poisonous animal as well. Excellent. <laughs> what? That's right. You see, he's got little blue things up his head. Yeah. Like, there was a snake or a spider in the grass that bit him whilst he was in there as <laughs> oh, well. Oh, he's shivering lots of soldiers. Yeah, he's been bitten by a snake or something. <laughs> Does that mean he's going to die soon? That, it no, I'll run his, out. Um, it affects his stamina meter, which is the, the the long white meter under his health bar. If that keeps going down, it will affect everything. You can cure it in the cure screen. There's going to be a lot of this, a lot of going through <laughs> menus and things. Venom poisoning. Venom poisoning. There you go. That's you good found that you the, got the serum. The antidote to all poison, regardless of what creature it comes from. <laughs> Serum. He's all right now. Sometimes when you're doing a, a cure thing, it'll randomly cut to like a, to video footage of Snake doing it. So if he's uh, uh, like setting a bow, you'll see him like set it and go, <laughs> this kind of stuff. <sighs> That's it a does job, it isn't it? At, it does it completely at random. It's not like you can choose when that happens. It just sometimes does it. You can skip him as well. But, uh... Yeah, that's a, that's a trope, isn't it? To see the resetting of your dis uh, dislocated shoulder or something. This makes it fine. That's, that's, that's how you make the hero look hard. Yeah, that's just a Martin Riggs <laughs> thing, isn't it? And Vin Diesel, he does it a lot as well. Yeah, but I think... I'm, I reckon the first person I saw do that was probably Riggs in uh, Lethal Weapon 2. Which was a plot point, because he ends up getting tied up in chains and chucked in the, in the river, in the sea. And he has to dislocate his shoulder to get out, and then he kills everybody. That's... Do you know, I've not really watched Lethal Weapon movies. I've, I've kind of seen bits of them, but I don't know which is which. The first one is mint. Like, the first one's really good. <laughs> they, they just get worse after that, to be honest. Whoa! That was close. He did a little bit of a mudslide, that guy, then. Yeah, I remember this first bit of the game. It is a kick because you've not got a, any type of gun. They just try and like sneak past all the dudes. Do you not to take a gun off one of the guards? Uh, you can't, and I've got a feeling that they might explain some stupid reason for it. But basically, you have to find a gun in specific places. You can't just grab them off enemies now. You should be able to, really, but you can't. I can't believe how hard this is to stay undetected. Because you shared, shared stealth. Your mum shared yeah, stealth. I think um, <laughs> she is. I think when you know when you were walking to that guard, did you not run up? If you if you run up right up to guards in this game, they'll hear you. No, no. Whereas I, in I, previous I, Metal Gear games, I creeped. Well, I, cre I crept up to him, but he, he heard me. Huh. Maybe he just happened to turn round just at that time. Maybe know. that yeah, he was just about to change his patrol route because you can creep up on them. If you just walk towards them, or maybe you were walking on a on a noisy floor, I couldn't hear it properly because some obviously some parts of the if you step on twinks and stuff, I think it makes noise. Is that isn't there a roll that you can do while you're laid down, or is that in four? Uh, that's in Metal Gear Solid Four. You can sort of strafe roll to the side, can't you? Yeah, that's a really handy move, especially it is. Would be especially happy uh, handy here. I think you have to be aiming, and then you press like a certain button to do the, the the roll. I don't think you can do it in this game. So, anyway, is that bloke is he walking across the bridge? Did he cut the bridge? He yeah, he did, did it, it earlier. He did it a bit last time. This is when this this is that same bridge that he crossed in the first part. Oh, yeah. it's just at night time now. So as I said, we're going to the same place, but we're just coming from a different side of the forest. Shank that bridge, Chris. Come on. I can't. You it can't do out. You can't drop the whole bridge oh, off, wow. no. Fucking look at him! <laughs> Honestly, it's just not possible. I've got a grenade. Have you got any grenades? <laughs> what? Tell you what. Stealth <laughs> grenade. Your shit has a stealth, Chris. Here you go. Here's some, here's some help. <laughs> if he's yeah. shit has a stealth, why don't grenades? What have you got on you? What have you, what's you got why on haven't you got too? a fat boy on you? Why can't you nuke him? <laughs> um, not much, to be fair. Fat boy? Yeah, it's pretty... pretty... Sparse. You've got a stun grenade. It's not the best. Still makes a lot of noise and that. Uh -huh. Yeah, you got stun grenades right there, mate. Oh. Survival knife, stun grenade, directional. Fake knife. death oh. pill. What the? What, what's a fake death pill? <coughs> take, a, um, take a death pill, but not real. Yeah, you, you oh, take. Right. It, you die. It, oh, I didn't know that. 
yeah, you die, you die, but you don't really die. Then you can use the revival pill to. Oh, feign death. Yeah. The roguish stalwart that is feign death. Fake death pill. Yeah. No. Yeah, the fat boy is that from Fallout. Fallout Three, yep. Fallout Three, yeah. Is that what the um, the little mini nukes called that you? Can yeah, get? the the handheld nuke. Oh, there you Mod go. That's what I was the... Model of the Fat Man. Yeah. I mean, named from the Fat Man. Right. So is one of them going to come back this way, this way now? No. So that no. guy who originally crossed the bridge, I think he's going to come back over it, possibly. Yeah. So imagine trying to speed run this with no stealth. I bet, I bet they've, they've obviously got techniques to do it, but... You just have to know exactly where to run and just how to, to avoid the pass of the guards in there. It's like... Don't back off the cliff, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it depends oh. on what speedrun is called, the RNG, the random number generator. What's that? Well, basically, the randomness in the game. It might be that the game isn't deterministic. It might be the random elements, like guards just randomly wander or something. Th in which case, it's the look of the draw. I think that in these Metal Gear Solid games, they were very much set past the guards. Right. But you, if you wanted to, you could memorise where they all are, I think. I could be wrong about that, but I've got a feeling that they are. That makes for a good speedrunning game. If it's completely deterministic, then obviously you can practice a routine which will always work. <coughs> but there's some games that just throw a randomness into it. Um. Oh, he's taking his sweet, sweet time. I think he's shit, isn't he? Don't wipe People. your ass with that grass. Looks a bit sharp for that kind of thing. It's saw grass. Yeah. I'm thinking, can I can I backflip off the, the fence? I can't, can in this one. You off can't the do fence. the backflip that you could do in two. Uh, like, you've got no, a backflip you can't and then that. crawl across. <laughs> no, you can't do that. I don't right. know if you could do. I don't know if you could hang off. Walker in the world. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you could hang off ledges at all in this game. To be honest, I don't think you can. You can hang off trees. Oh, that's a good point. You can actually. Yeah. He's taking this a picture of Chingley, isn't he? Die. <laughs> Shoot me in the head, Chris. This is walking too I don't so. have a gun. You can go, I you would can have go. already lost patience and done it. You can go. You can <laughs> grab him with your knife and just slit his throat. Yeah, do that. You need to kill this guy. Uh, yeah. See if you can get up to him without him turning around. He just. Oh, fuck I, I didn't even. You, I think you must have pressed. I'm sorry you took a run step then. I did it. Like, <laughs> it like it did something. I like the snake so honourable that he doesn't actually attack people when they're on the ground. He lets them get up. But you can if you had a gun. Ah. Oh. I'll throw him off the cliff. Yeah. Um, Slow walking right. back. Eat to a sarlacc. A Russian sarlacc. <laughs> Stuff. Yay, grenades! There I've got the bridge up. The ultimate stair <laughs> machine. <laughs> da, na, 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 na. That would basically be it. Yay! <laughs> no, don't run off. Yeah, careful. You just walk off the edge and look at yourself as you try to drag him off. There he hey. goes. See you later. And into the drink he goes. Later. It's so funny to see you both flying off, just holding on to his legs as you both spiral down into the water. <laughs> <laughs> now there's, there's another dude over here, if I, if I remember correctly, mate, so just be, be on your guard. Well, I could be wrong. I'm sure I saw two guards walking over here before. So slow, so now doesn't pick him up. What's the cigar do again? Uh, it enables you to see lasers. All oh, right, you blow smoke. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. If, I'm sure there must be lasers at some That's point. Such, such an extravagant way to reveal lasers, isn't it? To smoke a Cuban. Oh, I swear to God. Uh, why is it they're always hearing you? That's bullshit. I'm not even. I'm, I promise, I'm not pressing. No, I'm saying like, why you can't? How can you sneak up on? How can you sneak up on somebody then? 
Oh well. There is Six a certain joint in games that allow you to kick people off ledges. Yeah. Yeah. You got raindrop uniform there and life medicine. <laughs> life medicine. <laughs> is is that it's... like to fix your life? <laughs> I think this. I, yeah. <laughs> See, this night you should change your camouflage to black. Like a ninja. <laughs> like a ninja snake. You're that ninja. Is there another box over there? One of the what? Yeah, there was. I couldn't pick it up though. It was obviously okay. something I've got loads of. Grenades, probably. <sighs> I wonder... Yeah. You know the sneaking up on guys thing? I wonder, because you, you don't have to be that close to them. If you press circle, you'll grab them from quite far away. So it could be a case that you just have He's to... He's actually got dull sim arms. <laughs> yeah, or he'll, no, he'll, he'll sort of take a step forward. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out because it's, you can sneak up on people. They don't always turn around and spot you if you try to... And that's the slowest you can move as well. Yeah. Because the, the crouch walk isn't in this game. It's in Metal Gear Solid 4, isn't it? Where you can yeah, sort of... yeah. Yeah, so that's the slowest you can move. Without you're crawling. You're forgetting one major component here, and that's that Chris is playing it. He he is, but he's still limited by the, what the mechanics of the game allow you to do. No, he's not. I, See, I Sam's standing up for then. me. Sam loves me. <laughs> I observed what he did then, and he genuinely was just walking up to the guy, and he turned around. So, like, there, there must be a way around that. I said, if he had a gun at that range, if he held him up, he would have not turned around, he would have gone, Ooh. Well, he has done it earlier on. He did hold people up, didn't he? I'm yeah. sure he did. No, not but in this you can game. You can, you can grab people with, your, with, just, with just your bare hands or a knife as well, so there must be a range at which you can do that before they turn around and spot you. Yeah, I don't think there's anybody around here, is there? You know what? I, when, as soon as I think there aren't, Oh, look, there's a little, I saw a little blob on your radar then for a second, but it was behind you, so I'll get how that works. No, that's a snake. I just saw that. Oh, right, okay. Oh, it's up. a snake! There's a lot of snakes. Oh, In Russia, stuff. apparently. <laughs> this go boom. This properly isn't Russia. Yeah, yeah. It isn't really. <laughs> Alright, so nothing in there. Is this, is this where you're supposed to go? I'm sure it is. No, this is where just... you went at the end of the last mission, wasn't it? Where you fall. Oh, there you go. Oh, <clears throat> you have to just go, come out. Yeah, that's it. Go in there, find there's nothing there, and then leave the room, and stuff will happen. Oh. Nope, there's still nobody there. Oh no, there is. Sorry, I'm late. Cut the end. Now, if you want a woman who acts all <coughs> womany with the tits out, here's one for you. <laughs> Who is this? Are you Adam? She actually Eva. makes a point of it as well. Uh, yeah. Adam couldn't make it. Well, I've seen the screenshots of that all that right, pin from um, the new one, who's who wearing like a bikini this? top, basically. Yeah. Who are the uh, quiet, she's called. Yeah. Don't really know what her deal is just yet, but yeah. I think a deal is just to have some tits in the game. <gasps> Possibly. Double cross. Get down. Oh. Lighty looks pretty cool in this bit. Doesn't it? Oh, here she goes. Oh, sideways as well. Oh, with yeah. a gangster. You can't <laughs> aim a gun like that. Is it with a Luger as well? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is actually, yeah. You cannot aim a gun holding it sideways. I wonder where that came from. Like, why why it was ever considered to be a good thing. I thought you just got a handful of bullets and started ramming them in the gun. <laughs> As you do. That was a gratuitous angle. There's more than one. to kick a leg that high up as well. <laughs> Surf my beautiful hair. In the moonlight. Hello. But Unnecessary unzipping for a bit. <laughs> totally unnecessary. What the fuck? No need. <laughs> no need. Why? <laughs> the name's Eva. 
Have a look. Really? Oh, you might as well just say tits, 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 tits. I'm staring at him. Oh, I missed it. I was going to say, press R1 when you see the icon. <laughs> I just got a flash of it then. Oh, snake. You perv. Uh. <laughs> Oh, this is the bit where she gives him a gun and he fucking comes all over the gun at how mint it is. It's really oh, yes. funny. She gives him this handgun and he just talks about well, every mean... single thing about the handgun about how amazing it is. It's the most ridiculous thing ever. What happened? I think he's like shy. rather than women. I was just going to say, I think he's... Uh... He's definitely not. He's... <laughs> he's just being a bit... He, can't, he can't be gay. He can't be gay. He can't be... Snake like he is gay. But yeah, a name like Snake, he's gonna be gay. Gay Definitely. for guns. Gay for... <laughs> Snake, first name trouser. <laughs> Dwayne Snake. That doesn't work. Dwayne Snake. Dwayne Snake. Dwayne Snake Johnson. <laughs> it's it's already talking about guns. Did you just say he calls his penis the broom handle? Yeah, I saw the broom handle as well. Puzzle jump to Christ. What? There you go, Lucy. It's all technical. It's real. Bullshit! <laughs> it's imitation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Not a Luger, yeah. then. Yeah, it's not a Luger. You idiots. Like you absolute idiots. Sorry. Don't worry, <laughs> I will commit a seppuku in disgrace. <laughs> in honour, surely. No, in disgrace. You don't, you don't, you don't, don't commit seppuku because you're but, but honourable. It, it, it makes you honourable, though, doesn't it? So is it in... No, I don't it, know. It, it redeems you. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so. I, I think I'd rather Here be dishonourable. Look, see? Look at how ridiculous the into it is. Incredible. You're going to lick oh. it, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to piss out of one Basically, yeah. She just stood there with the top off and smashed in the corner of Smith and sn <laughs> snakes smashed yeah, exa it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like... down the barrel. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it! He's, he's got more to say yet. Yeah. Not only that. <laughs> Why does he do this? It really confused me the first time I played this game. And it still confuses the hell out of me. But I get it, it's a nice <laughs> gun roll. She's like, oh, I don't oh, care, Paul. All she had to do was go, here's a new gun, and he goes, thanks. That's all he's got to do. She's going, thanks, I needed a gun. It's done. It's done. <laughs> is she hot or something? Is that what's wrong with her? Is she, is she really warm? <laughs> it is hot. It, Russia is known for being very hot. What's <laughs> that? Oh, she gave you him. Um... She's got those Siberian sweats on again. He knows everything about the gun, but he doesn't know what a uniform looks like. A scientist <laughs> uniform. <laughs> What's that? It's, like, it's a fucking lab coat, mate. What do you think it is? Where? Uh, she gave you a, a tranquilizer gun as well, actually. You got both. You got a pistol and a tranquilizer. He's like, give a fuck. He didn't really like the tranquilizer gun as much as the pistol. No, he didn't. Which is a shame, because he'll, he'll be using it a lot more. Oh, I don't she's, know. Chris won't. She's got a bit of a Daryl Hannah jaw as well. I think the artist who designed the characters in this game... Like, was a bit, I want um, big jaws on my ladies. Yeah, it's like they've all got like a bit of a man face going on there. I'm getting some vibration going on for some reason while she's walking. They have she's vibration good. detectors. Uh, detectors. Oh, my God. Vibration directors in games, don't they? Do they? Yeah, they, they are, well, I, I know that um, Kojima's known for hiring someone specifically for the vibration stuff. He must be the only person in the world who does that. No, no, there's the more. Shite. No, it's well, it's well. It doesn't mean they're good at it. <laughs> it's not I shite in every sure game. There's a lot. I find there's quite a lot of games where you don't notice the vibration. You sort of go, "Was well, vibrate even working?" And that's kind of a good thing because it's, it's just obviously there when it needs to be. That sounds like the same sort of um, idea behind a good score that you shouldn't really notice a good score. It should just enhance the the, the mood of the whatever you're watching. Right. Let's get going. I disagree with that, though. I think it depends on on the situation. Sometimes the score can be atmospheric, but there are lots of pieces of film and TV scores that I genuinely like to listen to on their own. And games as well. I mean, like a lot of games, um, you get the kind of Jeremy yeah. Sinner's oh, where <laughs> too many guns. <laughs> too, many, too many hoofs on his hand, probably. 
flashback back to when the the horse broke his hand. Yeah, there oh, is that. I forgot that happened. Actually, <laughs> Stallion I forgot. stamped on his arm. If Sam hadn't he... pointed it out, I wouldn't have thought about it. <laughs> it wouldn't have even. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's it. My orders are to provide. Oh God. I can't. I, actually, there's too many, too much boobs going on. I never thought I'd say that as a heterosexual man, but there, there's too much boob. It's just completely unnecessary and gratuitous, though, isn't it? <laughs> Even the way she walks, she knocks someone out with those hips. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now Stop it! Go away! <laughs> What's she after? She must be. She must be after something. Mm. She can't, yeah, she she can't she... be a good guy. Well, you know, just I keep know watching well this game <laughs> for the next. However many hours well, we play it. Me me. <laughs> Better than just betting you 30 seconds ago, mate. Hmm. He's, he's having a bit of a breakdown now, isn't he? It's because she's threatened to take his gun away, probably. <laughs> no, don't do it! Gonna get that? She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Just listening. Although in your condition, you really ought to... To everything, yeah. Just listening, I'm on it, I'm on it. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. Or you may when die of poisoning if you don't get it attended to. Get some sleep. I, for I forgot so about paramedic. Birthday, 936. Okay. Yeah. Are you beginning to the 60s? Ooh. <sighs> so by the time you finish saving it'll be I think it's daylight for the next bit again? We've, I've, again I've played for about I don't know maybe 10 minutes and it's been going for an hour An hour and ten minutes. It's only because I haven't seen it. I've already seen it all. I'm a bit frustrated though. I, I quite enjoyed it the first time around. I, hadn't, I didn't really recognize, it, like, notice it. Did you think that when you play these games back, you'd actually? It's like it's you know it's like when you introduce someone to something and you realize it wasn't quite as awesome as you remembered it being. Um, it is like that, isn't it? No, not I really, because I couldn't give games. a crap what you think of it. I like it. I'm enjoying. Play. I, I I was. I've been looking forward to playing this one uh, since we played last time. Oh, oh whoa! whoa. <laughs> hey! <laughs> um, plastic bags for pants. It's just wearing like black <laughs> leather <laughs> fucking <laughs> underwear. We're surrounded. It's a Halloween costume gone wrong. Four of them. Yeah, nice job, Eva. Keeping watch and all that, like you said you were going to. Too busy changing it. Stripping off and then. <laughs> just again. staring at her boobs all. No wonder. No wonder he's surrounded. <laughs> just crouched <laughs> over looking at them. Quite intently. Here, give me a hand. I'll give you a hand. Give you an entire fist. And a foot. Ah, the steel. Ah, the secret trap door. That's not a basement, is it? That's a crawl space. That's yeah, an under yeah. the house bit. Yeah. On the plus side, Chris, you haven't died yet. No, I haven't been given, the, afforded the opportunity. Okay. Oh no, I have. I could have died. Stop it! Did she just say exclamation mark in his ear? That was him going. Yes. <gasps> not quite. He wouldn't do that. If, if she give him a new gun, then. Then he'd be basically flying through the ceiling right now. I'd have been. I'd have went down there with her. Don't care how ace I am. Yeah, I don't know why he doesn't really. It doesn't really make sense that he doesn't. Right, you have to take out all the ocelot unit. So you got eight dudes. <clears throat> take them down however you want. They will be coming for that room. So yeah, you want to. There you go. I'm not gonna grenade. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> Stealth. 
Oh, shoot. there they go. Oh, they can see you. That's the shit of stealth shit. ever. <laughs> oh, shit. The fuck? What on earth oh, is going on? Oh, I can't hear you because it bloody set off a grenade, didn't it? Yeah, it threw a stun grenade. Not I bad. can't see you there. Can't see? Mind detector. Cool. Oh yeah, shit, yeah. gonna throw more stun grenades. Oh, I think we might have another death coming up here. I mean, that's stealth, Chris. The, there was no option for stealth. Oh, well, there was actually, I think. There was. When I grow up, I wanna be as stealthy as you. Oh my god, get under. Oh, you prat. <laughs> you, can't, you, can't, you can get under every single point. Shut up. I know what I'm doing. Well, the I'm video evidence would suggest otherwise, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Under the house with the dirty, dirty rats. And Eva has magically disappeared as well. Obviously. I think she just, like, uh, took her clothes off again, then her skin, then a skeleton. <laughs> I think her boobs just started spinning and she just dug into the ground. Oh my Where god. <laughs> Wouldn't that be about that, was he? <laughs> oh, I would be. You shot me in the neck. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop that! Shooting someone in the neck isn't known to be non-lethal. Shot me in the ass. Is he hiding? <laughs> He's shooting you from the Jesus. <laughs> that poor guy had a bit of a rough time of it. He's like that one time I finished with him. <laughs> Yeah, you put him out of his misery there, really. Think, I was thinking of his wife and family. <laughs> uh, your gun's about to lose its suppressor, but uh, you've only got seven bullets left for it anyways. You, you have got your thingy, but remember in this game, you've got to yeah, equip it from your backpack first. Oh, hang on. Mark 22. You can lob some magazines to create sound distractions if you want. <clears throat> Where are they? So that evasion's not going to go down until he's killed them all. No, yeah, you, have to, you, have, the to, you have to take them all out, yeah. There's one dude. Oh my and god. He's seen you. I haven't ever got anything equipped. What a knob. <laughs> Thanks, pretty hard. He got shot about eight times then. <laughs> I could say you can roll that barrel down there and whack somebody, but there's nobody there to get twatted by it. <sighs> Come on, Chris, you can do it. There might be a guy on the roof. You know where you were hiding up there before? I think there might be a guy up there. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. We threw grenades. grenades. He's not messing around, is he? Loving the camera angles. Again. Kick him off the edge. Kick. <laughs> oh. Nearly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, he's dead. <clears throat> top, top turnbuckle, then. <laughs> you what? <laughs> top turnbuckle, then. What the hell is that? <laughs> wrestling term. Alright, okay. That's when Never you really watch kick wrestling. one of your opponents off the top of a single story building after, uh, after shooting them in the chest. Yeah. Hulk Hogan, oh lords. Hang on. How is that a wrestling thing when you're on a building and you shot them in the chest? What are you on about? <laughs> top turn because they jump off the top, top rope and break someone in half, basically. Oh, he ran! He can Good. get! Are you inside him? I'm inside him. Inside oh, his guard, he's got a shotgun. 
Yep. Some of these guys have. Ouch. Oh, oh. there we go. He's Shit, dead. I was looking at my stamina bar. <laughs> uh, brown bread. Snake is dead. Shotguns will do it's you in. Teabag in ya. Can you go down that, that hatch, actually? Can you just follow Eva down that hatch? Oh, I'm gone now. Yeah, so just, uh... I don't know what the best advice is. There's one, two, three guys there. Grenades! Got a grenade! Oh, in that room, I think. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. Brutal. Your alert's going down now. Oh, alright. <sighs> it stays at evasion all the time in this bit. Without having that radar there, it makes everything a lot more difficult. It really, really does. Well, a headshot, like, kill him in one shot. Yeah. yeah. It's quite difficult to headshot unless you... Well, because it's with the pad. He did headshot that guard earlier, but he just shot him about six times before he got the headshot as well. Oh, god damn. This game's menu system. Come <laughs> on. Life medicine. That'll do. Calorie bit. Can I not eat it? Oh, no. No. Uh, I think to eat it, you just select it and press circle or something whilst it's in the menu, don't you? Oh, I just got a zombie face. Uh, oh, it's back in my backpack, isn't it now? I think you can eat them straight from the backpack as well. If you want to use something, I think you just select it and use it straight away, don't you? Uh, Maybe I'm wrong. I can't remember. I think it's circle to eat it. Maybe once it's selected. No, I can only throw it. That's that's not right. <laughs> you must be able to eat it. You're knocking on the barrel. Yeah. Yeah. If they actually come round. I'm bleeding all over the place. Patch yourself up. That's that a cut. Bleeding. Disinfected. Gre a grie grievous thigh injury. Yep. Right in the femoral artery. Well, if it it's was, you'd already be dead by now. It's in the inside, isn't it? Well, if you stab deep enough into the leg, you'll get there eventually, won't you? Guess so, yeah. Oh, they're coming. Uh, you're going to push the barrel into them when they come around the corner? No, because it'll miss them. They're not coming around the corner, are they? They keep making noises, but no. Oh, <laughs> they look like they're coming. Hmm. Yeah, I think they might come around the corner. So you're going to think... try and push the barrel into them. I think they're inside the building nah, here, you're knocking from the outside. Yeah. Oh, oh no, oh, no, no. Other way. The, the... Other side of the fence. Hey. Or is it the guy on the roof? I don't know, maybe he saw you. Maybe. This is going to be a long game, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. What's wrong? Oh, as if that wasn't a headshot. <laughs> That's what I'd say if I just got shot in the head. Ooh.
Oh my god. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Grenade! Get him over the grenade! I'll run around the corner and get them with the barrel. Over to the oh right. Oh my god! <laughs> Don't record birdsong. <laughs> They're just flying to the door one. Fucking get on the ground. Just get on the ground, snake. <laughs> oh my god! Deary, deary me. <laughs> I oh am God. terrible. I'm a terrible person. I was going to say you are so bad at this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. Chris, you should just give up and make spatulas for a living or something instead. It's embarrassing. <laughs> kind of embarrassed for you. You've killed four of them halfway there. Oh. What? So you killed four of them so far, you're halfway there. Yeah, you can you can push that barrel as well. Yeah. Take the high ground. This is starting to remind me of Final Fantasy VII. Why? There's a, there's a there's a barrel uh, mini game in Final Fantasy VII where you basically drop <laughs> barrels on Turks, well actually on on Shinra soldiers. Well, there's that guy you shot in the arm earlier, ran around with his gun in one hand. <sighs> I hate this game. I think you might have to go try and knife him up a bit, like we were doing earlier. Or tranquilize him. Yeah, again, the camera angles, they're just... They're just offensive. Oh, get up. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't think they're going to cut the staircase, I think they're actually... Yeah. Oh go, no, go, there we go. Go, 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 go! Yeah! Did you kill him? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he's down to two enemies now. Yeah. You can do it, Chris. Hey, you just got some more bullets! <laughs> just <laughs> the one gunshot wound. Oh no, he's not dead. He's just knocked out. That'll do. You, yeah, you don't have to kill them, as I say. You can do non-lethal. As long as they're unconscious, it's sorted. <laughs> the guy, the guy on the roof. I think he just stays up there. Like I think you have to go and get him. Cheeky little bastard that he is. Just chuck a grenade up there. Yeah, I'm just seeing okay, if there's probably... anyone around first. You could do, but it's quite a big roof, and you probably won't hit him with it. Okay, I want to try it anyway. Oh. I'd love it if you just fell down and hit you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dropped his grenade on go. himself. Brilliant. Still, Still alive. Dead though. Oh, nice. yeah, he is. He is. Right, last guy. I think you need to finish this guy hiding? with hand to hand. I think you need to snap his neck. I have to find him first. Now, in order to do that, you have to sort of, you know when you were pressing, you hold down the circle as you're moving, it'll do the throw. So as you press the circuit, just stop moving and then he'll grab them and do a choke hold. If you want to do that. I think you should do that, Chris. Just to get the timing right. 
Where is he though? Where the fuck is he? Not on the radar. Which means he's probably on the outskirts somewhere on the other side. Hiding like a coward whilst all his friends die. Or you can crawl under there. <laughs> oh. Snap his leg oh, up. Oh, he saw you. Of course he saw you. Get up, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good age, you twat. Oh, what the fuck was that? I don't know. Threw a grenade in a random direction. You do know you've had some bullets before, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking dick. Yeah! Hey! Expert stealth assassinations there. Chris, in the last game, I'm you not managed even sure to kill want... about eight thousand times as many people in one corridor, just hand to hand. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even uploading this to YouTube. I'm that embarrassed. <laughs> you know, normally people get better at things when they play them for a long time. <laughs> I have no excuse, I'm sorry. <laughs> no excuse, sir. I guess you headed north through that gate. Yeah. Then Eva does some weird motorbike stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, you were just over there, this wasn't happening. This moment. Oh, what's a lot, you pillock. I won. That's it. That's the stance. I don't think so. What? A female spy? Yeah, that's really weird. <laughs> you just you just mashing R one then basically. Yeah, basically. All oh, the weird cameras angles. I've had enough of your judo. I see you've got yourself a single action army. Oh, here he goes again with his gun pawn. Yeah. He loves guns, doesn't he? He does love guns a lot. Accident? Well, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? It's a nice gun. I'll give you that. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. <laughs> no shit! Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. <laughs> no, he's he's just as bad with his guns, and he's like, "You dare! How dare you!" You don't have what it takes to kill me. Hmm. Ooh, call it about. Let's see. Ah. Oh dear. Oops, no bullets! They got fucking stupid hands! <laughs> <laughs> Die hard reference finger there. That's how I get on my bike every that, day. That is oh, how I get on my She didn't land on his face. <laughs> oh no, that, that's what she does to his there face. There he goes. She, she, <laughs> she, she puts a bike oh, tire on his face. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what I thought the first time I no. saw that. Could totally do that. What? 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 What's the problem? <laughs> six shots. That thing only carries six shots. Well, it carries eight. You have to get a fifth round. Then you have Slap to my head. It hurts. Ow! Like a fucking Jackie Chan film. <laughs> <laughs> this is a high class weapon. It's not meant for shooting people. Well, it kind of is a bit. Oh, stop jebbing around, you pillock. <laughs> With your little hand gestures. He's an important part of the saga. So yeah. He's a bell end who's just trying to kill you about eight times. Has the audio went really funny for you guys? Yeah. yeah. Jerky. Yep. I think it's on the actual game itself. That sucks. 
Oh, no, you can't do that. That was ridiculous. Why? Why? Uh, why go jump off the roof just to go through a gate? So oh, she, she could get on the, the roof. Gate? Yeah, she had to land on it with enough force. She drove up Otacon's face. Um, not Otacon. <laughs> fucking it's hell. Oh, so hot. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's mend these wounds and that's it, the last time I'm going to get hit. Yeah, that's it, the rest of the time is uh, no hit speed run. Fucking... God, could you imagine Chris doing a speed run? No. I'd, why did uh, I just splint a gunshot wound? What's wrong with me? <laughs> Bleeding. I've got been shot, I better still shove some wood in there. <laughs> I'll sort it out. Oh. <laughs> There he goes, look! What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Take a bullet out of his arm. You don't do arm. that! You don't... For fuck's sake. sake, mate! It's not real life! Get over it! Get over the fact that it's not like it would be. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's worth it for the... That's, you deserve that for being a pillar, trying to cut a bullet out of your arm, you dick. It looks like that as well. It's, like that it's, still, it's still got the it's still got the casting on it. <laughs> why why am I watching this? I don't know. <laughs> oh what? It's the best bit of the game. <laughs> oh god. What what did I get that for? Why did they give me a trophy for performing so badly? Don't touch the sides. It means you just got to a point in the game. Sometimes you get trophies just for progressing in the story, don't you? Well, oh, boring anyway, trophies. Touch the sides, what does that even have to do with what just happened? Oh well. Oh well. Maybe it's describing your lady friend. Maybe. <laughs> Colin for a slut. Aspersion, casting some aspersions about her sexual nature. Oh right, so you've got to head through this, the swampy bit and get leeches stuck to you as well when you get uh. in there. Fuck leeches. And there's some uh, alligator type jobbies knocking around here too. Get stabbed, you big snake. It's quite elegant with that knife, isn't he? Yeah, he's pretty good with it. It just helped it when you stab people and turn upside down instantly. <laughs> Smoke grenades, I'll always leave them in a the swamp. Smokey G. Oh, I didn't know you swam. Forgot about that. Yeah, something's a bit more straightforward in this game. You can swim under this. Oh. Yeah, like that in first person. That's okay. bizarre swimming. It's very, very murky though. Now in this in this area, I believe there's a there's a path up to your left, which is probably where those crocodiles are. Where I, I, you can pick up some item or other. I, I'm really fuzzy with this game because it's so big that there's so many weird items, but some of them are just camouflage and stuff, and or face paints that you're not bothered about. And I remember there being something up there anyway. Does your battery never go down? Yeah, your battery's at the top there. Oh like, mate, I can see it. It must go down, but it takes a while, I guess. Are you there? Eva? Did you miss me? Did you make it without right, I think I'm going to uh, pause it after this because the back. sound's gone all weird. Yeah. Speaking. What about bots? Yeah, she's here too. Be careful. <laughs> Thanks, I will. The bot and I get along pretty well, though. I guess we traders have a lot in common. <laughs> sure <do. laughs> Betraying your country like I, I just don't get it. Are you talking about the boss? Why do you yeah. do it? Were you born and raised in America? Yes. America! <laughs> Here's a picture oh, of the even... town that I live in. <laughs> did she set fire to the town by any chance? <laughs> I don't think Eva did. Killed everyone in the village. Or did she have sex with the town or ride a bike up its face? <laughs> <laughs> or both at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> she was banished because she rid a, rid a bike up every child's face in town. <laughs> 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 she got one to line up in a row, just yeah. Pedo biker, that's what she is. The pedo biker. 
They're like, Eva, you're just really, t really fucking weird. Can you just leave, please? Look at that picture. Are both changed by their environment and by the times. So now in 36 and she's 28. So that makes it what? 60. Between this country and America. Ah, mathematical times. 64. 64. Yeah, 64. That's what I said. Coming here made me realize something. Half of what I'd been told was a complete and utter lie. The other half was a conveniently constructed lie. Where is the truth then? It's hidden in the lies. Are you blind? Oh, of course it is. Who knows? I've been trying to make even the most severe falsehood sound like the honest truth. Won't you? No. I believe because I have to. Even if it is a lie. That's part of my memory. I'll have to remember. If you need me, give me a call in the radio. What? That basically means I'm easy to manipulate. See you later. Yay! If I leave my oh, nice. radar on, will the battery run down while I'm not playing? Ooh, I don't know. I think the rations go off, though, don't they? Your food will go off. The rations don't. And right, sorry, I meant, sorry, the, go off. The, I meant the food, sorry. Uh, there's, there's things like your ration, actual proper ration rations, uh, calorie mates, and uh, you can find noodles as well, and they won't go off. All meat will go off, like you kill an animal, it'll go off. Was that when you're not playing it? Hey, Snake, you ever heard of God yes, like if he was to save it, like the fact that he's going to save it and not play it again for another week means that all that food he caught would probably be off by the time he comes back to play it. Right, so it's just real time then, so it's... It's not real time, no. but it sort of is like the same way that like if you had an injury, uh, it didn't treat it, but they didn't play for a week, it'd probably be all right by the time you got back. Right. Little things like that. Like, did I tell you about the end? Another way you can beat the end is if you just save Wait. the game at the start of the boss fight and then put your clock forward like another week or so, it'll be dead. Yeah. Or can <laughs> presumably you could just not play the game for a week and you go back and he's dead. Well, either or. I don't know if it's a week or two weeks. It's a certain amount of time, but um, yeah. So. Yeah, I'm gonna play the uh, play the intro while uh, oh, right. we say bye. Yeah, I think we should uh, have a look at the intro just because the intro sequence is just a cool James Bond homage. Has some very silly lyrics, <laughs> silly lyrics. Very very silly lyrics. But, but it's but also perfect. quite a cool song though. At the same time. Yeah, I listen to it quite often on my uh, my PC. It's better be good. It's look, good. look, it's not the best piece of music on the planet, but it's, it's cool enjoyable for what it is. Yeah, enjoyable. I mean. <clears throat> Yeah. So yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry to the viewers for for the lackluster performance, um, the the terrible clicking sounds, and the obviously the game going out of sync or doing whatever it's just done. Then today has not been a good day for uh, technical things. Yeah, I'm sure they're used to it by now. And my fucking playing, Jesus Christ. Well, you only died once, but <sighs> that's because you didn't do anything in this entire playthrough. Oh, here we go. I don't think it's the actual in-game intro, is it? Oh! I think it is. Or is it, actually? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It's a bit James Bondy and that, isn't it? It is very James Bond, that, isn't it? You just wait till it kicks in. Yeah. Supreme. Turn it up a little bit. <laughs> Look at the difference in graphics. This is the original FMV, I imagine. Yeah. It's hard to tell the difference in graphics. Oh, it's, it's not as good. Give it. Take it from me. Anyone notable sing this? Forgotten her name. Hello. She's got a good voice, isn't she? I think it says in the credits at some point. Or something. Here we go. <laughs> what? <laughs> I knew you'd like that one. 
Someday you'll be in a tree frog state. Someday. I I long for that day. You'll be in a tree frog pretty soon, mate. Oh, unfortunately, the MP3s I have don't have uh, the the artist on it. So I don't know his name off the top of my voice. Top of my voice. Top. Whatever. It's not a good day. It's not a good day. Today was a bad day. So, the flip side version of that song. Mama cooked a breakfast with no hog. I just saw a piece in the left. Yep. Bad bombs, man. Everything from the FMV to the... That snake isn't very well, is it? No. <laughs> oh, they've got to get that in, haven't they? Brilliant. That brass hit, that brass hit that's in everything that's taken a piss out of the 60s. Yep. No! Yeah, I like that. It's just a silly, fun homage to James Bond intros. It was actually. It was, it was quite cool. Except, yes. uh, obviously, James Bond doesn't behave like Solid Snake. It's not like, 007, go into the secret underground base. Secret underground base? <laughs> it's repeat everything that they if, say. If so. 007 had saw that woman ticking a, like, unzipping a top, then he wouldn't have been... Spaffing over the guns, but <laughs> no, he'd be a bit like a rat for drink pipe, would he? <laughs> I mean, you've noticed, though, he, <laughs> no it, messing about. obviously, James Bond doesn't actually give a crap about the gadgets or anything at all, does he? He's just like, oh, M sorts that out. I just want to shag everyone. That's it, he, isn't it? There's, he there's... Usually, de usually destroys the car that he gets given and, and then breaks all the gadgets as well, usually. <laughs> someone <laughs> shoots someone accidentally with one of the secret double weapons. Double pussy. <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. Oh, well. Right, so thank you for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time with our next next one. And hopefully I'll play a bit better, but I say that every week, so... Yay. Thanks for, for, for being tolerant. Bye. Bye. <laughs>